We begin by discovering the joy of washing dishes. You heard that right, stay with me. <laughs> a thing that was once a chore can now spark joy in the kitchen. If you know the right techniques and sequences, a Whidbey Island author and bookstore owner has broken down the methodology of doing it effectively. And we are delighted to have Peter Miller here. Hello, how are you? Top of the morning. Since we're not, ever, nobody's shaking hands anymore. Can I do no, an elbow with you? Nice okay. to see you. Good to see you. What made you write a book about washing dishes? Well, you can't tell anyone really how to wash the dishes, but <laughs> I started to write some of the details of it, and, it uh, and I sent it to my daughter in Sweden, and it was well received. And mm -hmm. I thought, well, I could continue and actually get this put down on paper and make a little progress in the, in the washing of dishes, a, a task that, you know, between the dishwasher and modernism, uh, has been a little bit lost because people simply put things in the dishwasher and that's uh, without it. paying attention to it. Washing dishes used to be the the kind of fun thing. My mom and yes. her sisters Moms would, we'd all dishes. stand there, Fathers we'd wash, we dried, you yes. know, we sort of did it all together. Yes. I also want to say that the book is a zen little book and the illustrations okay. are done by your wife and they're gorgeous. Right. I'm they're absolutely gorgeous. It's a joy to read it. Right. Um, and I also thought last night, well, I kind of like washing dishes because it's mindless. And then I thought, you know what? I think it's actually because it's mindful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so, certainly not mindless. No, it's not. I was just thinking that it, it makes my brain calm to do things like that. So mm -hmm. teach me how to do it correctly. And some people, of course, do the dishes and don't explain how much they like it. They just keep <laughs> it, it for feels their own. Weird, right? they keep it, well, they keep it for their own <laughs> kind of digestive selfishness <laughs> of a little private time uh, with a little music. There's I'm a, busy. Go you know, do something a, there's else. There's a playlist, in fact, that the publisher created for the book. So Roost Books, if you Google Roost Books playlist, uh, how to wash the dishes, awesome. there's two hours worth of I'm not washing dishes for two hours. No, no, but take, I a like whole, that there's two take a whole month of music, of, of okay. music for very good. So, so let me see. Where, where would you, where would I start you? Begin you begin um, where you'd like. The important thing washing the dishes, I think there are three. One is that the drain be good and clear. Mm -hmm. One is that there be space yes. to wash the dishes, so that you are not fighting all the time. Where, where am I going to put things? But the most important thing. You know, are these bowls of soap, and and um, they're what I discovered really makes the difference. Now, when you get your bowl of soap, and and um, you know, there's lots of arguments about which soap to use. We use a wonderful soap called Common, you know, uh, Common Good that uh, I think makes a you know is biodegradable, is uh, has great uh, virtues of how it's made, and it's still yet cuts the grease and still yet does the dishes. I love the bowl because it's clean. You're the, not the, just filling the sink. The bowl with... is clean, but you know you have to be very careful with the bowl because for some reason in the culture of cleaning up, there's a there's a cup of with a little bit of coffee in it. Oh yeah. And the most obvious thing is to dump that in your bowl and if you dump it in the bowl of course then the bowl no longer <laughs> has clean. this powerful soap that you're hoping for. <laughs> so right. you have to protect your bowl. Protect um, your bowl, people. You protect your bowl of soap, and you know we work from it uh, to do the dishes. You don't. I know that it used to be a tradition that you cleaned the whole sink mm -hmm. and then you filled it full of water. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, you're prisoner to everything's in there. Everything's in there. Yeah, yeah. And everything's I'm with a little you. dirty. You need something that you can rinse from. You need something that you can keep. It's powerful. If this starts to get gray, dump it out and start over. All right. Very good. Let's talk about how we would. Want, let's say we're not going to do the. If you were going to do this. If I was going to, what would I do? You rinse it. Rinse it first. You rinse it first. So your bowl needs to be, needs to not be the full dimension of your sink or you have no way to rinse. Right. So even if you use, like in the morning for breakfast, I use this little bowl because I can get everything done with this little, like a little, little mini vac. I can get everything done with this. And that's done. Um, so why do you have the whisk out? The whisk is out to show that uh, the... the it's a particular, and if you're going to wash the dishes successfully, you must judge every one of these pieces, not just in a moment. So if you've just made your whipped cream, you cannot put this in there because it has whipped cream all over right. it, so you rinse it. But then comes the important part where it goes in here like that, and people leave it there. Now this whole bowl is no longer 
uh, your ally because nobody's going to put anything on top of it. It's got a whisk on top of it. Whereas if you get it out, rinse it right then, then you, blah, 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 You it's maintain back. the bowl. So part of <laughs> washing the dishes correctly, part of uh, the sense of it is having some sense of it also, but being... Uh, as a bartender does, where he uses something, he uses ah. a strainer and gets it back to work. Right. Okay, that makes sense. You write also about sponges and towels, and I'm a big tea towel fan, you are so I love yes. this. I have my own favorites mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. what works best for me. Why is all that important, having the right tools? First of all, if you're, the, the, the towel is crucial because if I, use, if I wash this and, and I have a towel, I can clean it just like that and it's out of the way. Mm -hmm. It's not in the way. But, you know, a, a towel, a dish towel, there are dish towels I'm, for example, not allowed to use in the kitchen. <laughs> because? <laughs> because my wife loves them. <laughs> and she knows I might, in the speed of cooking, go into the pulling out a cast iron pan mm. and it, or burn the edge of it no. or do something. So essentially, I have let's say three versions of a, I have the hardworking one, the blue jean one. I have the the sort of beat up one that has been uh, slightly damaged, like this one's slightly That's damaged. Nice and, soft. and then you have the beautiful ones that you bought or someone and gave you or your mother. Alone. And you use those, they're like a scarf in the kitchen. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're, yeah. they're so lovely. You use them just at the end. When you or come to the table. All. My husband's always saying, I'm sorry, is this one for real yes, or is no, it yes, not? Yes. It's Let's very, talk it, about this thing that, that helps you. Okay. Now it's a dishcloth. My daughter lives in Stockholm, and it was there that I realized that everyone has this dishcloth. So we made, we had some made with the title of the book on it in Stockholm, uh, and it's made of cellulose, and it's completely um, cleanable in the sense that you can boil it, so wow. there's no bacteria in it. So, uh, so you can use this for a long time. You can use it for a long time, but also you, you don't have that difficulty that a sponge has that it holds bacteria. Right. This you can completely clean. Uh, it's quite wonderful, actually. Are and these now I'm readily available here? You can get these with um, lots of different uh, designs on the front of them. The only way you can get this one would be to come to the shop. Come to the shop. Yes. Where is your shop? The shop the is in Pioneer Square, uh, between Jackson and Maine, in the alley off of First. A little bit odd, but so that's we've it. been talking about hand washing here. Mm -hmm. What is your relationship to the dishwasher? Well, I love the dishwasher. Um, you know, I I perhaps use it more to hold things, to be a holding rack. Because if I, for example, if I use this, if mm -hmm. I drain something and then I quickly uh, use the soap on it and then rinse it, I'll put it in the dish rack just for 20 seconds until it dries just enough so that I can use a cloth on it. But the only rule I have as regards the dishwasher is that I don't think you should put anything in it that is one of a kind. So everything should be, I think it should be used for multiples, a dish, a cup, a glass, such and such, but not this. Not, Why is that? Not the whisk, because I might need it. Also, it takes up enormous <laughs> amounts of room, and it takes a second to clean if you're conscious of it. I have a feeling you're an amazing packer, too, when you go traveling. I imagine you're very particular I'm a pretty good packer. But now, are you a rinse before you put it in the dishwasher yes. person or not? Yes. Yes. You? Yes, I am. Why? Um, I don't know. I just figure it'll get cleaner. Yes, I do, too. Um, I don't know that that's right. That's just what I do. Mm -hmm. I feel better about it. Mm -hmm. I, the only version I know that... Uh, otherwise would work uh, the Smiths, a wonderful family lives in um, Columbia City, uh, put the dishes in unrinsed, but they let the dogs loose to them. Oh, Lord. But No. But that's a different... <laughs> and then it goes... I'm sorry, Smith. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, yes, I rinse before they go in because um, even though the dishwashers are incredibly detailed now and incredibly subtle, you still have the drainage issue of all that food. So... I rinse them before I think they'll get cleaner. Very good. Well, this is a zen little book, and I'm telling you, you will learn new things, and you will learn a new philosophy Great. about washing dishes. We thank you. How to Wash the Dishes is available in stores and online now, and Peter is hosting a book launch at his bookstore, Peter Miller Books, from 4 to 7 tomorrow evening. We'll have details on our website.